Mate, what's your reaction? Hey, I've never seen anything like this. Morning, I am in Stockholm, Sweden, and this guy keeps following me. I haven't got a clue who he is. Hello, how are you guys? Long time no see. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe Mr. London Hacks is actually outside of London? That's the hack to you now, Mr. World Hack. <laughs> so for those of you not seen it, me and Toba did a series together, London with no money for seven days. When was that now, mate? Two years ago. Well, I did the Savoy on my birthday, didn't I? On the 17th oh, yeah, of did. August. Bloody hell, mate, it was two years ago I now. Know. What is it, no. three? 18, 19, 20, two years ago? Yeah, no. That is mad. If you've not checked that series out, it's probably one of my most enjoyable ones, to be yeah, honest, same, mate. Same. Probably one of the hardest ones as well. A question come up on a Q&A recently, and it said, where is the coldest place I've ever slept rough? And mate, I said Waterloo Station on day five. Oh. Mate, that was horrendous. Horrible, mate. I mate, hate. just like sleeping with my head on the table, shivering in the morning. Yeah. Do you remember? Yeah. Oh. Before we get into this video, I just want to thank Qualcomm for sponsoring this video and for supporting my travels. This is a Moto G 5G Plus phone, and it sells for £299, which I'd say in 2020 is very reasonable for a price of phone. Qualcomm have sent me this phone to try it out and I'm really interested to see how I get on with it. The two main problems I come across travelling with my current phone is one, the data and finding a good connection places, and the second one is the battery life. This phone has a Qualcomm Snapdragon chip inside of it, which means I have access to 5G and I'll always be on high-speed internet without spending a fortune on a phone. Even though this phone is high-tech with 5G, apparently the battery life is amazing on it and it's going to last like a minimum of a day, if not two. I'm going to put this to the test today because on my phone, I currently don't get anywhere near to a day. So I want to see if this phone's quicker and the battery life is going to last. On top of that, this phone's rear camera is 48 megapixels and it's got Motorola's first ever dual selfie camera with an ultra wide lens. This weather feels like I'm back in Manchester, mate. Yeah, it's coming down, isn't it? Now I've been here for a couple of days, it's quite clear that nobody wears a mask and even speaking to Frederick, they're living normal. Me and Tob were walking around at 9pm last night and everywhere was closed, wasn't it? No. We couldn't get food anywhere. Even though they haven't locked down, restrictions are definitely increasing here, even since I've got here. Right mate, first day in Stockholm together, I reckon we do something really random. I've booked a surprise for tonight, oh, yeah. which you'll find out about, I'm not telling you. But up until then mate, I think we just enjoy ourselves, see what we can get on the cheap. So free stuff you know i just want to warm you in ready for the no money challenge yeah you know it's been two years mate i know you're a bit rusty <laughs> the rain is coming down here mate should we just jump on a random bus on, should we yeah. right well there's one over there let's go oh. we've just jumped on this bus not a clue where it's going it actually says centralen oh is this the last stop oh, thank you oh thank you very much have a good one we did one stop on the bus and then we got to the end of the route. I reckon we jump on another one and just see where it goes. There's another one coming now over there. Right, let's see where this one goes. This bus is going to skip Holsom. The good thing about buses in Stockholm at the minute is that they're free because of coronavirus. Because what they do is to protect the driver, they put this tape up just because if anybody's got coronavirus, they don't walk past the driver and it says, please use rear doors. So that's great news for us because we don't have to pay for the bus anywhere we want to go in Sweden. Happy days. Don't be stealing my face. <laughs> On a serious note, have you ever heard of Skip Holson before? Yeah, it sounds exciting though. <laughs> we'll find out. Oh, we've stopped. Is this the last stop? Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, we've got off the last bus there. I don't think we've gone too far though. We were on the bus for what, 10, 15 minutes? Not a clue where we are, but I think we're actually in the center because it is actually quite built up here. It's getting dark already. For me, know, right? It gets dark so early. Yeah. I think it's probably just the time of year with the winter, isn't it? Right, Mr. London Hacks and all his research, because that's all you ever do, isn't it, mate? Yep. Research. He's just found a free bus going to the biggest and the original IKEA in the world, which would be actually quite cool. It would, and you're very welcome, mate. No worries, mate. We can always <laughs> count on you for some research, can't we? I prefer spontaneous 
Tolba prefers research. Two sides of the bus coin, no? Yeah. <laughs> is this actually the bus stop here? It will be here in 10 minutes. In 10 minutes from yeah. now? Wait. What does the address say? I'm going to Google it myself. I'm just looking at Google and it says, mate, 38 Vazagatan. The 5G in Stockholm is actually really quick. Oh, is it? How did say? 5G's in Stockholm. Oh, wow. Hence having a 5G phone. On the phone, it says 38 Vasagatan. And I don't know if you can see it, but directly behind me over there is 38 Vasagatan. The only thing I'm concerned about is obviously because of the pandemic, the restrictions are increasing here. I don't know what the chances of this free bus to IKEA are. What do you reckon? I just have to wait and see. This bus is due now and there's no sign of it. I'll say considering no one else is at this bus stop and has been for the past 20 minutes, then... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is how far research gets you. Well done, Mr. Courage. Well done, Corona. Yeah, it probably is, though, to be fair, isn't it? Yeah, I do your video in there. You, you watch my videos? Yeah. Ah, nice to meet you, man. Yes, man. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Ah, good, good. Ah, nice What's to meet you anyway. Yeah, Look after you, yourself. Man. See you later, man. Should we just jump in a taxi? Hey, how are you? Thank you very much. Are you looking forward to IKEA? Yeah. It sounds like it. <laughs> You think Toba's quiet on camera? You want to see him off? He's even quieter. This is it here, yeah? Yeah, Ingong. Cool, thank you. Have, have a good one. So see you much. later. And here we are, outside the original and the biggest IKEA in the world. Are you impressed? It does look massive, to be fair. It does, doesn't it? Mate, the first thing I'm doing is getting Swedish meatballs and plastering them in ketchup. Yeah. I'm starving. Where's the food? Everything's in Swedish, isn't it? Is this the food in here? Yeah, there is also food outside the cash line. You want the Swedish food market? Uh, oh, Swedish food market sounds good, yeah. Yeah, then you okay. have to just go outside and go to inside the exit door. You go through the exit? Yeah, that's That sounds right. good. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, thank you very much. That sounds like more me, going through the exit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute, no, no, no. Swedish food market. I didn't think there'd be a food market in here, though. Is this the older food, like the cafe and stuff? Or is there a big cafe here? It's here and uh, it is with uh, outside. Ah, okay. Can you uh, sit inside. down in here to eat? Uh, no, no, no. Floor 3, the restaurant. Ah, okay. So yeah. uh, the restaurant's on floor 3. Okay, <laughs> cool. Thank you very much. Thanks. I think we're going to have to go back that way. Mate, this place is huge. Look at the size of it. Should we just walk around? Mate, it's going to take us about four days to walk around here. Right, let's ask someone else. I need to know where I'm going here. This place is too big. How do you get to floor 3 to the restaurant? If you go outside and then through the entrance. Through the entrance. Yeah, and ah, okay. And then just go on. Thank you very much. Right, we're going back through the entrance to floor three to the restaurant. And if all fails, we've got the golden arches in the background over there. Right, what floor is this? We need the third floor. How many floors are actually here? I don't know. It looks like there's loads. I'm guessing this is the cafe. It's got to be. I think we found the cafe. It'll be interesting to see what they serve it. Where's Toba gone? OK, I've lost Toba. We have found Toba. What are you having? Anything plant-based. Anything plant-based? Toba's a vegan. Oh yeah, what's this? Mate, that looks good. Cuba Cola Zero, I'll take that. Hi, can I grab fish and chips, please? Yep. Thank you. Ah, thank you very much. Can I get some garlic bread as well, please? Cool, thank you very much. 124. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sorry, can I have loads of ketchup? Like a lot ketchup, of... Ketchup, of course. Is yeah. that okay? Thanks. Ah, thank you very much. Cheers, thanks. You got enough ketchup there, mate? You can never have enough ketchup. How's the meal, mate? It's amazing. Is it actually good? I've got a chocolate cake, fish and chips, garlic bread, cola, and a bowl of ketchup. So all this food cost 124 Swedish, which is about £11.50. Still quite dear though, isn't it? I'd say IKEA in the UK would be cheaper than this. A little bit cheaper, yeah. This costs a fiver. You ain't living on one pound a day today. <laughs> We're on the first floor, and honestly, I can't even begin to show through the camera how big this place is. It's huge. Like, it's absolutely massive. And then you've got, like, the ground floor, first floor, and all the floors up there. It's just, like, never-ending. But I'm sure this building's like a big circle. Only if this place was open 24-7. Yeah. You could do a no-money challenge and, like, sleep on these beds. Right, this explains it a bit better. There's, like, one, two, three, four, five floors and then you come through here 
and there's like a massive warehouse attached onto the back. How many aisles are in here? 22. There's more than that. 45, 47, 49, 51. So that's 51 aisles in total, and that's just in the warehouse. This place is huge. Should we make a move? Let's. I'm still I waiting feel... for my surprise. May it's coming. It's, it's coming. A, it's not a hot Swedish girl, is it? Where's the way out? Oh, this is where we were at the start. This way. Right, let's show Tolbert where we're staying tonight. Okay, so we're south of the city now, and where we're staying is north of the city. So we need to get a cab. And in Sweden, taxis are not cheap. I've just noticed too that there actually is buses here. Why can't your research find us this bus? Hey, my research found the bus in the first place. So. Well, did we get on the bus? One bus, two bus. Your research, great yours. Taxi it is. Are you ready for this? Let's go. Hi, how are you? Jag kan inte engelska, förlåt. Ah, no yeah. problem. <laughs> are you looking forward to this? Yeah, I've been looking forward to it the whole video. It's going to be worth it. This is going to be a new experience for me as well. I think this is us, mate. Perfect, thank you very much. It's lovely to meet you anyway, have a good one. Mate, what's your reaction? Hey, I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> Check this out. It is a jumbo jet hotel. Flipping heck. Yes, please get me in there. <laughs> Look at this though. Even like the engines of the plane have like stairs going up. There's another engine with stairs going up there. This is mad. As if they've turned this into a hotel. I think it's just the one plane, is it? I don't know if that's the reception up there. It might just be at the front. Let's go up these main stairs and we'll see. Entre reception. Right, mate, let's go and check this out. Mate, you can get breakfast in it as well, it says. Breakfast is served from 3 a.m. Oh, check this out. There you've got the front of the plane. This is reception here. Wow. Mate, can you please take your shoes off before the flight? After you, mate. Jumbo stay stock up. This is reception, I'm guessing. Hello? Oh. Room 747, Simon Wilson. 747. Room 747 right there. Where's the receptionist? Are we the only ones in here? Well, I'm not too sure. I thought someone would be here, but I'm guessing not. Oh, this must be where they serve breakfast. There's like a little cafe here. Does this come with breakfast? I'm guessing so. It says serves breakfast from 3 a.m., doesn't it? I've just managed to find a light in the cafeteria and I've just noticed like all the pictures on the wall and it's like the history of the plane. So in the first one, you've got Singapore Airlines. So this was the plane in 1976. You've got Pan Am here, 1984. Another Pan Am there. So this is all the same plane. Air Club 94 to 95, Tower Air, Air Asia in 2000, Transjet in 2002. Then you've got this is the number of petrol trucks needed to refuel a jumbo jet. One, two, three, four. Jeez. And then you come over here and it says it's a Boeing 747-212B. There it is there when it was Pan Am. And it's got the whole history of it here. So obviously first flight, 1976. You come all the way down, September 2000, withdrawn from use and parked in New York. July 2002, last transjet flight, Dublin to Stockholm, withdrawn from use, parked at Arlanda, where we are now. And then you come down here and it says 2009, Jumbo Hostel opens for guests and visitors. That's amazing. So this plane has been around the whole world and it opened in 2009. So this hotel has been here now for, what, 12 years, 11, 12 years? Have you seen this guy? <laughs> Just helping himself. <laughs> There's me learning about the history of the plane and, it, and it's you just eating everything. Normally it's the other way around. Right, this is the main corridor now. So obviously where the walkway would be on a plane, they've just converted it. So I'm guessing this is... Ah, okay, so this is a shower. There might be people in these, by the way. I don't know for sure. No, mate, don't. <laughs> 724, 723. So fair news, there's a few rooms in here, isn't there? Yeah, I know. Oh, wow, 
Wow, this must have been it when they were constructing it. There's more here. That must have been where the cafe is now. You've got another one here where they would have had the toilets in the middle and they've just stripped the whole thing. This is pretty cool, this. I've never done anything like this. There's a fair few rooms in here though, isn't there? Yeah, no. But they've got to be a shared bathroom because look how small these rooms are. You've got 735, 737 and there's another door there. So this must only be like that big. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve on the other side, twenty-four, plus the ones upstairs. You're talking about maybe thirty rooms, but then you don't know what's in the back. And you've got the engines. Ah, you've got more rooms here, and you've got the windows there. WC, so another toilet, another toilet, and another toilet. Oh wow, so this will be the back of the plane now. So that'll be the last room. They must have got a lot of effort into converting this though. That wouldn't have just been an easy job. Where's it going? To be honest, well, I don't know. Room 747. <laughs> After you, mate. Mate, have I pulled it off again or what? I've just noticed getting to the top of the stairs, it says upper deck first class. So I suppose that's where it used to be. Oh, mate, check this out. Mate, this is like Air Force One. So you've got aeroplane seats here. We've got a telly. Mate, we've got to watch Air Force One tonight. Mate, we could legit have a party in here. Mate, have a look where you're sleeping. Go through there. What? <laughs> okay. Mate, turn the light on. Where's the light? Mate, this is craziness. This bed is genuinely in the cockpit of an aeroplane. The steering wheels are still there. Mate, don't be taking this off. <laughs> Mate, I don't want to go anywhere, <laughs> Jesus. Hey, strap me in. <laughs> oh my God, look at this. You can actually pull it back. Mate, we've even got a bottle opener on here. How amazing is this? This is crazy. Let's get this mate. torch on. Can you actually pull these back and stuff? Oh my God. Yeah, mate, go easy, yeah? I don't want to go back to the UK just yet. <laughs> it's mad to think this plane's actually like been in the sky. I know. Mate, the only reason I booked this room was because it was cheaper than a flight. So I thought if we book this, we can go. Hey, let's go, strap in. We just, <laughs> we just need an engine now. Sorry, mate, there's someone sleeping in our engine. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much, man. No worries, pal. I thought you'd like it. There's an ensuite. There's even a window in the ensuite. This is decent. It's a bit of a cram in there though, isn't it? But we are in a plane. Is there a shower in here? Oh, there is a shower, it's there. No, the shower's just like, it's like a wet room. I haven't got a clue which plane this is, but I'm guessing, is it a 747? Well, I don't know, room 747, maybe it is. Oh my God, this is the plane when it was in action. There are the eight seats there. Sweden, October 2003. So this would have been that room in 2003. I'm guessing this would be business class though, because this is the bar, is it? Because there's like holes there for like wine bottles and stuff. So yeah, I think this would be first. But then again, the seats are close together there, aren't they? But maybe that's what first class was like in 2003. Yeah. Yeah, this would have definitely have been business class back in the day, wouldn't it? Because these aren't economy seats. You know, with like these side panels and stuff. Yeah. But it'd be interesting to see what the other rooms look like, but obviously we're not going to be able to. Yeah. Because, well, I'm, I can't book the whole plane, can I? <laughs> Looking disappointed that I've not booked another room. We've got a private deck as well. Oh, wow, we've got a roof terrace. This is crazy. Imagine this in the summer. The airport is literally there, so you can just see all the planes taking off. Got a deck up here, walk to the front, You've got a cockpit there, then walk on the back, and you can literally see the whole plane. And they've even got like walkways and a big walkway going down the wing. Those engines must be rooms as well then, with the staircases going up to the engine. Mate, are you joking? Oh. Mate, I'm not even joking. Yeah, we're gonna have to try down here. Ah, okay, we can go this way. It's a good job I brought this card with me, isn't it? Imagine if I left that in the room. Off to you, mate. Mate, we don't need one of these, do we? Well, we do if you're gonna take off in the middle of the <laughs> night. Right, let's go back to our room. Another thing I've just realised as well is that there's a picture here of what the cockpit used to look like in 2005. And now it's a bed. That's like, what, 15, 16 years ago? Mate, I've just realised this is a double bed. I ain't yeah. sleeping with you snoring all night. <laughs> Hey, mate, I'm telling you now, I've heard you snore in Waterloo Station. Are you going to sleep fully clothed? Well, mate. actually, yeah. It seems other beds are joined. You sleep fully clothed. <laughs> Comfy, what's the bed like? Oh, it's nice, mate. Oh, this is the good life, this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Mate, it's nice to lie down. It's been a long day. I tell you what, though, it's a bit cosy, this, isn't it? You just stick on your side, right? <laughs> <laughs> nah, this is really nice, man. Cheers for this. Nah, no worries, man. It's just cool, and it's just like a good experience. It's nice, actually, to have a night, mate, where we're not actually sleeping on the street and we've got a bed. Might be a different story tomorrow, though. Yeah. What do you reckon? Yeah. Stockholm with no money. Who wants Stockholm with no money? Let's do it. Are you up for it? Let's do it. Yeah, but I don't want to make a mockery of you on YouTube. <laughs> do you know what? This phone has actually done me proud today, and Qualcomm have done a good job of it. The Snapdragon chip in it has given me 5G all day. I've been on high-speed internet. I've checked maps on there. I've booked Ubers. I've made calls on it. This phone's actually really impressed me, to be honest. And for 299 it's a bargain. Even though I haven't used this phone today as much as I normally would have just because I've been filming But nevertheless, I've booked an uber on here. I've checked maps. I've used the torch emails calls and I have got 92% left 92% is just unheard of like even with my iPhone I would probably say it would be running on empty now So even what I've used 92% is really good. So I'll probably get another day out of it I reckon I'd comfortably get a day out of this even on a normal normal working day. In fact, let me prove it. Battery 92%, more than two days left. If you want to know more about that phone and Qualcomm, check the links in description. I've put everything there for you to check out. Right, this is us. We're going to hit the deck. Any last words, Sober? Look out for the no money challenge. When I oh, it's happening, is it? 100%. It's happening? 110%. <laughs> Mr. Tober Courage. Mate, all I can say is get a good night's sleep because you're going to need it, pal. Yeah. You're going to need it. Right, have a good one. Night.